in the morning early in the morning in the morning i will rise and praise the lord this is the morning early in the morning this is the morning i will rise and praise the lord hallelujah good morning god bless you and welcome Uh, it's beautiful Saturday morning by the grace of God is the second day in the month of December 2023 God has been so faithful good morning once again now the word for today is taken from Romans chapter 1 and verse 16 Paul speaking said for I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believe it to the Jews first and also to the gentiles hallelujah now we saw the exploits and uh, manifestation in diverse level of this man the great apostle of our time now here comes his letters to the church of christ here comes his letter to the believers here comes his letter to those that will soon become children of the living god long after he might have gone and he said in his own days and his lifetime he was never ashamed of the gospel of Christ he used everything within his disposal to preach to convince people passionately that Jesus Christ is Lord we saw that in every aspect of his life when he was in the prison he was not ashamed to declare Jesus when he was accused wrongly he wasn't ashamed to declare Jesus when he was in the midst of people he was in a shame when he was outside the midst of people he was in a shame when he was in his own land he was in a shame when he was outside his land he was in a shame to declare the lordship of jesus everywhere this morning the word of god is coming to everyone hearing my voice are you ashamed of him remember what he said by himself that if you are ashamed of me before men i will be ashamed of you before my father in heaven So I'm calling to know that many titled individual bishops, reverends, pastors, associate pastors, now they want to travel to another country, they disguise themselves. Hallelujah. They disguise. The only time you know that they kind of know something about the Lord is the kind of question they ask. And you like fickle at ah. But the depth of the question shows that you are close to the altar. Ah, uh, it's a little bit longer or afterward you will know that truly they were once men and women of God but because they choose to go to another country and disguise themselves to become like the sons of the land disguise themselves to become like the daughters of the land just to be like the people is that who you are this morning and why will you do that because you think that serving God is a waste of time probably you thought that when you were in your home country you served God with all your life he did not pay you so now you are in another country you can fake to be somebody else and see if you can enjoy life a little bit what is it to enjoy in a life in life you sleep one morning in peace and tomorrow morning you might be at war the 15000 people over that died between the Israel and the Hamas war they slept one morning and the following morning they woke up and they were under torture and tension or the small them lost their life what is life what is life the bible says what is life is like a vapor what is life is like a vapor that today it is tomorrow is no more the available time you have on earth why not make it why not use it wisely and the only wise way a man can use his life number one, is to surrender to the lord jesus and number two, to never be ashamed to declare who he is to you what he has done for you and what he has done for the church and what he has done for mankind hallelujah so to this um uh, to this intent paul the apostle was writing that i will never be ashamed of jesus i will never be ashamed to declare him as my lord and i will never be ashamed to tell people about him would that become your stand today come on i said would that become your stand today when you can boldly tell anybody anywhere that I'm a child of God I believe in Jesus and is my lord and savior and number two to tell them to consider giving their life to Christ that is the best of life on this earth every other thing we pass away riches we pass away 
marriage will pass away, our fame will pass away, wealth will pass away. But one with God will remain with the best forever and ever. God bless you. Father, I thank you this morning. Appreciate you for the life of every soul you are blessed to hear the sound of my voice. Jesus, you are the best offer of God to mankind. And we accept you this morning freely to our heart as Lord and Savior. And as long as we draw breath, Father, I pray for everyone hearing me who will never depart from Jesus. Should there be anyone hearing me that have backslided, Holy Spirit, draw them back to you in the name of Jesus. Should there be any, any titled man and woman of God that have gone in the ways of the world to become like the regular citizens. Jesus, I pray you have mercy and restore them back in the name of Jesus. I bless you today. Be favored by God. Be sustained. Be preserved. Be enabled. Be shielded. Let this day favor you. Go in peace and return back in peace. No evil shall befall you in the name of Jesus. I cover everyone hearing my voice with the blood of Jesus. I cover your inheritance and children with the blood of Jesus. It is well with your soul. I cover you and yours with the blood. And I decree that this second day of December will favor you. We favor your household. We favor your family in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. To God be all the glory. In Jesus' precious name. Amen and amen and amen. God bless you. Good morning. Thank you for being part of our morning devotion. Please share with one another. Tomorrow is Sunday. We invite you to join us at the end of our service location in New Jersey or in Texas. And God will bless you. Bananata.